Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's finish up our project uh, from where we left off. So I'm going to log in here as one of the artists without songs. And I can add at least one song here. Just so we can have more than one song on that side. Let me browse for some music. Okay, so I'm gonna hit save and there we are. And on this user, I want to edit the profile so I can add an image as well. So let's add an image. I'll find one image to add and let's hit save. Okay, so this is uh, awesome. Now with this uh, setup in mind, if I find the song, um, let's say on the home page. So here are the two songs that we have. And when I change the settings though, let me go back to settings. Uh, you see that the image did not update here at the corner. So what we're supposed to do is in the settings here, after saving, uh, because I know the ID of this item, what I need to do is say something like row is equal to query and then let's run another query to grab the row uh, of this current user so we can authenticate once more. So I'm gonna say query is equal to and say select all from users where ID is equal to ID limit one. Okay, so now that we have that, we just need to check if not empty row. So if there's something in there, let's do row uh actually let's authenticate let's just say auth uh, row like that zero the first result that way once we save we don't have to log in again to update the information there so for example if i change the name to accommodate let me just add a uh, or at the end just to see if it will update and as you can see it has updated including the image there and that's the point so let me remove that and save let's save and there it is it has updated okay so that's one thing and then now once we go to the to click on this song so if i click on this song here it takes me to the single song view here which is expected now here i need to to display some views at least so let's go to uh, song.php because that's the single song there uh, let's come down to where i want to see where we can put this maybe after the song itself so the song is right here so after this i could put a div here and just say views you can say page views and then uh, we can do song uh, views like that okay so let me come back here and let's refresh okay so it seems i can't see what's going on maybe if i select everything oh there it is page views at the end there so since this is part of the uh, flex, uh, let's just put it outside like so. And then maybe we can have a style and say color for the text. Let's just put black and then text align. Let's put that in the center like so. Okay. 
so refresh ah uh, we still have that over there which is interesting so i guess the display flex is in here let me remove that i'm gonna say style display block instead of flex let's see how that changes things and it does so page views zero now we can look at other params that we have um let's see here so i'm looking for the database php my admin and let's look at songs so we have views and downloads and popularity so just the um, page views uh downloads here i'll do this and let's put downloads there as well okay like so so back here refresh so page views downloads zero now once we load like this page views should update so we can create a simple function that will do that for us so let's go to functions or let's go back to the to the song.php and right about here let's go to the top here so that we keep all the logic up here so if we did find the song uh, here we can say add page view okay like so add page view you can also have add pay song download so we can have those two functions like that and here we want to give the id of the song so here i'm gonna say song id like this okay I'm going to do the same thing for the download like so so we run the id in there and then we let those two do their thing so i'm going to copy these two now we need to go to where the functions are and create some so it doesn't really matter where you add these they can be anywhere as long as you write function like that and let me do the same thing here function then at the end here we do that and same thing here mm, looks like something is missing okay so here i'm just going to replace these with uh, song underscore id like that okay so now with that we can simply run some queries okay so what i'm going to do is just say query is equal to and i'm going to say update songs and then set views is equal to views plus one and you tell it where this should happen so where id is equal to that particular id that was given and we say limit one then we decide to run this query inside the query function so query like so and done right we're not receiving anything from here so this is good enough so i'm going to grab that let's come down here and do the same thing for download we're just going to change the word views to downloads okay it's as simple as that so we add a view we add a download so let's see if that's working out for the views so i'm just going to refresh the page and undefined variable id okay so that's understood because here it says id but in there i say it's song id so let me just change that real quick there we go all right and there we go so now it should change if i refresh now i should see two different numbers so downloads shouldn't have been incremented for that so what i'm going to do is go back to song.php and mute 
the add song download we're going to use it a bit later when we are dealing with downloads here so as you can see the page views are going up not the downloads but the page views every time i refresh now if you don't want the same user the because the person can simply just come and start uh, refreshing the page to increase their views uh, you can limit you can make it so that the owner of the song does not um, cannot do this so we'll say if user id like this so this is the id of the user that's logged in is not equal to song user id like that okay so if those two are not equal that's when we increment the page view so here if i refresh this page it no longer changes because this is my song but if i go to uh, home and click on this other song this song does not belong to me so i can in this case increase its value okay great so with that in mind that does it for the views but there's one more thing here that's going on we need to know the popularity of the song at the moment so if i refresh in the table right now you can see this one has five views six views and the popularity is zero because we want to be able to load the most popular the most views the most downloads etc etc so popularity here will be determined by either views or downloads or both now this is entirely up to you how you want to capture this so maybe we can deal with we can add both views and downloads to that equation so what i want to do is in order to find this out is i want to grab the row of the song that i want to update the views so after doing the update of views then we can update the popularity score as well right how popular is it so what we're going to do is we're going to find the date so we grab the date and then let's look at really the popularity should be how many views and downloads per day is the question so first of all we have to find out how many days have passed since this thing was uploaded which is determined by this right here this date so we convert this date to days and then divide by the number of views or downloads this will give us a number an average of views plus downloads in the given time and then we update that as popularity score so let's come back to functions here let's do a readout so i'm just going to say row is equal to query like that and run a completely different query here and i'm going to say if not empty row then i can save a different uh, do some calculations and then save a different thing here so now i need to create that query that reads so we'll say select all from songs actually i just need a couple of these i just need the views column i need the downloads column and i need the actually popularity doesn't matter so i need the date so those three are enough uh, from songs where the id is equal to uh, the song id that we have here and say limit one okay so first of all here i'm gonna say uh, days number of days is equal to uh, the row that we have here but first item and date like that sorry like so okay so that's the date right but i want to convert this into a unix timestamp so i'm going to say string to time like this okay so that converts that into an integer so that's the number of seconds since 1970 up to this date that i've written here so that's the number of seconds 
and then once that is done uh, we can divide that um, we want to find the number of days so we divide that by the number of seconds in a day to get how many days this is going to be so i will do this number of days is let's say we have using seconds we have 60 seconds that makes a minute if we multiply that 60 by 60 that makes an hour because 60 by 60 60 seconds that's one minute one minute times 60 that's one hour and then one hour times 24 that's one day so like this this gives us the number of seconds in a day 60 by 60 by 24 so since this is number of seconds in a day we divide that by number of seconds um, since 1970 now the problem here is we are getting this since 1970 up to the current date right this day here but that's not really what we want we want to know what today is so here i'm gonna say now is equal to time like that now the reason why i want to know what today is is so that i i know the number of seconds that have passed since this date okay so here i'm gonna say now like here because now is bigger than this one and i'll say minus this date right here okay so what i'm doing is i'm getting the current date and then subtracting from the the date that this song was created at so that will give me the time that has passed in seconds since this this uh, song was uploaded and then i'm going to divide that by the number of seconds in a day to give me exactly um, how many days have passed okay okay so that given a number of days there Now the resulting uh, thing here, let me wrap this whole thing in a bracket. I can either floor it or give it a ceiling so that I round it off. So maybe I can, let me just say round it off like that. I'll just say round, all right. Oops, what have I done? Oh no. I'm trying to zoom out here, but it's not working. Something happened to this to zoom in and out or something. Oh no. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Okay, so with this, now we know the number of days. Now with that number of days, we just want to popularity is equal to number of days divided by row zero views uh, plus downloads so I add these two the views and downloads together to create one number So it's the other way around. So I want to divide this by number of days like that. Now, it's very possible that uh, days could be zero and we don't want to divide by zero, do we now? So I'm gonna say if days is greater than zero, then that's when we do this. But then to start with, let's just give it a popularity is equal to zero and then if days is greater than zero, then let's calculate a new popularity thingy, which is gonna be this, right? Okay, so that's cool. And then once we do that, now we can save that popularity uh, contest there. So I'm gonna say query um, is equal to update. So this is pretty much this one here. So I'm gonna grab that and put it here and grab this what was that and put it there 
so i've did song set instead of views we're gonna set popularity is equal to popularity as a variable like that where id is equal to song id limit one so that's what happens with page views so let's just see that in action so right now popularity is zero now if i refresh this page just want to make sure that the views are going up and they are let's look at popularity so popularity is seven okay there it is So what I'm going to do is try and uh, let's put, let's let the download thing as well work. Then I want to check in here. Okay, so it says eight. So that's taking into account, which is good. But there's only one day uh, that passed here. This was the 22nd, today is the 23rd. So there's one day that passed here. And since it's one day, uh, obviously the popularity is eight. But if it were two days, for example, this would be four. The popularity would go down to half and it's gonna be four. So this is a good way to know how popular a song is. Otherwise, sometimes just using the number of views or downloads can be frustrating on your website because you find that there's that one song that's always just being downloaded constantly even after it's been one year on the website uh, the new songs will never get a chance to compete with that one so that's why popularity is uh, this is a better way of doing things you match things by popularity that way some new songs can also get to the top of the chart at some point so i've used this on my own websites in the past and it worked brilliantly so that's why I use that formula. Okay, let me undo that there. So in uh, functions here, so I'm gonna copy this exactly as it is because even when we get a download, this same process should happen. So I'll paste that like so. That way we update the popularity on both instances. I could have probably created another function for this code since it's being repeated, but uh, laziness. Okay, so at least now things are updating, the downloads, the popularity, and so on. What's not updating? I think everything here is good. Now with that in mind, I want us to be able to click on this so we can see other songs from this user. So going back to song.php, where we have a um, the song title, no, the artist title, which is here, the first name and last name. So what I want to do is wrap this inside an A tag, like so. And this is going to go to the profile.php page. But in this case, I want to add an ID and say ID is equal to. And then in here, I'll put row and put id like that for the user id and then let me move that guy out here like so awesomeness so if i refresh now there's this and if i click now i don't see mary jones's profile that's because regardless who is doing uh, the viewing of the profile it always shows just the profile of the person that's loaded currently but we need to make it in such a way that if we provide an id like in this case then it should load the id prioritize the id instead so i'm going to go to profile.php here and this all depends on where we get our id from right so first of all i just want to try and tell it to get from the get variable instead the id now the id may not always exist so i put two question marks to say if it does not exist then set it to the currently logged in user and also we need to make sure it's always an integer so i'm gonna say int like that and then id okay cool now with that in mind, everything else should work and fall into place. If I refresh this, now you see the correct profile.
right? And then now if you look here, there's no edit and delete button because this is definitely not my profile. If I go back here, um, or oh, let me go back to this, but then click on my profile. You see that there's edit profile and there's edit and delete for songs right there, right? Now, let me click on edit here on the song. Um, okay, so this is the URL to edit song. So if I just change the ID here, I can edit a different song entirely. So for example, if I change that ID to one, then now I'm editing Lullaby. But the thing is, this is not my song, right? It isn't my song, but I'm able to edit it. So this is not cool at all. So we have to have security over that. So what I'm going to do is let's go to the upload.php page. So the trick here is to grab the um, from songs where ID is equal to ID. So we need to make sure that the song uh, is there. And also, let me grab this. So here I'm going to say if the something was posted and not empty song so song must have something for any of this to work out the the submission here and then on top of that um let's see here we need to have the correct user id okay so here I'm going to say if the mod is delete or edit, I'm going to say user ID is equal to user ID. So I'm just grabbing the ID from the logged in user and I want to use it here. And then I'll say and user ID is equal to user ID. So here I'm just making sure that the we only we can only grab a song that belongs to the real the real owner so here as you can see everything has disappeared the title but we are saying edit song so we shouldn't even see this if the song was not found so since the song is not found let's find a way to dismantle this so edit song mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll grab this. I want this to be either edit mode or delete mode. So title is here. There are errors there. Let's see. What can we do with this? Whatever can we do? Okay, so before title, which is right here, I can put that if statement. So if mod is equal to edit, or mod is equal to delete right now let me enclose this in its own bracket system and then we put an and here wait 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 hmm. okay what I'm going to do is let me grab this inside here. I'm going to say if display. So I'm just going to create a variable called display and use that. There we go. Okay, so there and where does that end? Okay, some of this is weird. Uh-huh. So I'm going to put the end if here, I think. Okay. Now I'm going to put an else statement instead as well. And over here, I'll put a div and put some styles and say color red text align center and then here 
that song was not found exclamation point so let's see if that works oh that won't work because we've created a variable here called display which we don't have at the top there okay so let me come down here and say something like display is equal to true okay but then if this is not found we'll do an else statement here and say display is equal to false okay so if the song was not found false i think that should solve the problem so let me refresh and says that song was not found okay let's change the mode to delete and see if this persists that song was not found yeah that's how it is so now we can submit which is great but if i go to the prof my own profile and try to edit my own song everything works as intended okay so that's one security measure there we've added to make sure that there's no mixing of things and let's do the same for profile here so i could just add an id there and say id is equal to two for artist profile yes and then i'll see this profile which is not mine so remember the id is two now if i click edit profile um, okay so here we can't have a security risk because regardless what's going on only your own artist profile is loaded okay so that's fine i guess okay so that done that done so let's go to the home page now everything that's here is exactly what should be on latest the only difference is that here we actually the same query on home page should be here it's just that on home page there should be fewer content so index where is this um, this is where we grab the songs okay limit 30 let's try a limit 10 maybe just a few so it's up to you here what you want to do you can use that limit to limit how many songs show here but now let me grab this and let's go to latest and i want to put that there so this is exactly the same only difference is we're going to have page numbers here so i'm going to have to add pagination so here the limit will be 30. then we need to create an offset the formula for offset is page the page number minus one multiplied by the limit so i'll explain this a little bit but the first thing we need to do is grab the page number so here i'll use this and say page number like so just so we know it's page number and i want to put this in the functions uh, page here right at the top i want to always be able to know uh, get page number so i'm going to create a variable page number that will be available everywhere is equal to one because uh, that's the default page number now in case there is page in the get variable let's grab that instead so let's do page uh -huh. and then if not we set it to one but since that get variable is editable let's just make sure it's an integer whenever we get it and then there are also some instances where it's less than one which is unacceptable you can't have page zero so if it's less than one then let's set it back to one like so okay so that sorts out the page number thing so at least now we always have a page number regardless now if i go to the latest page here let me use the variable for limit like that okay and then let's put an offset as well offset offset which is this variable right here 
Okay, now why do we need an offset? This is for pagination. What pagination does is, for example, let's say you want 10 items per page. So you're going to tell it to limit to 10 results. But what if you want the next 10 results? Not the first one, but the next one, which is page two. So you give it an offset. You tell it to offset by 10. So it, it skips the first 10 and gets the next 10. And then if you skip by 20, that's page three. So this is how the formula works here. So if you watch closely, if we're on page two, we should offset 20. So two minus one, let's say we're on page two, that's two minus one, which is one. One times limit, which is 30, that offset will be 30, that's page two. Okay, so that's how pagination works there. So since we have that, that's cool. Let me go back to the index page. I want to grab the part where we, where I display the actual songs. So I'll grab this whole thing here, get to latest. So I'm just looking for the same class names if they exist here. Oops, what's happening to my mouse? And it does, so there's class 15, which is right there. So let me just paste that over here. Then I can remove the rest of this the rest of these songs, quite a number, right? So I'm gonna grab all of these up to here and delete, all right? How about this? Is it tied to anything? Probably not. Let me remove that. Okay, so it just says latest and then loop through the songs. Now, if there are no songs here, it's good to have an else statement. Let's put it div, let's give it some styles. Text align, center, padding, 10 pixels. Text, oh, text align is center already, right? Okay, so in here we say no songs found. So there we go. These are the latest songs right there. So we start with, the important thing is the order. So we order by ID descending, that gives us the latest song first. Okay, so with that in mind, uh, let's go to the other one, which is uh, this popular, this top 20. Okay. Yep, top 20 there. So I'm going to grab exactly this. Let's go to the top 20 and paste. So of course we say limit 20 like so. Um, here we don't have pagination, so we won't be needing the offset because it always just get the top 20. So I'll remove the rest of this. We don't even need to know the page number, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and then the latest down into the view. We're gonna grab this, copy. Let's look for 15, class 15, which is this one, paste. Oops, what did I do? We have to put it inside class 15. Like so. All right. So then the rest we delete. So we'll leave that closing div, make sure. Yep. Okay. And save. Okay. So top 20. 
here uh, in your design you can write numbers on the things here uh, maybe put some large numbers somewhere let me try that uh, top 20 this is um, I think it's better on this icon here just after the icon or maybe you know what we can add something in here let me add a div real quick and what I'll do is this is a for each loop I just want to add a variable called num and set it to zero and then in here I'll just say num plus plus so after the full colon this is like putting code inside the if statement so just like here so num will become one at this point so I'll just say num and close so like this at least we get some numbers so there's number one number two okay cool so at least that will give us some resemblance of a uh, let's add some styles so first of all background color I want to try um, let's see CCC let's see how well any of this works okay hmm let's add some padding of 10 pixels font size let's try 20 pixels let me see okay yeah so also I want the position to be absolute then I can give it a width now of I don't know uh, 20 pixels height 20 pixels maybe we need bigger 30 30 and then we'll say top zero left or well, let's try right zero okay so let's see how that looks and there it is it's gone behind the image I guess let's change the Z index oh no 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 it hasn't gone behind actually it's probably floated to the top of the page right at the top corner there which is ridiculous so uh, the height here I think I can add some more let's try 50 by 50 here uh, the padding maybe five pixels instead now the reason those are floated away is because we need its parent to have a um, a position of relative so that it becomes the the it's relative to the parent so once I do that they will come here that's what I'm hoping and there it is they did indeed come there so now the only thing I can do actually the background color maybe should just be white so it did kind of look better and then uh, border radius 50% that will give it a rounded edge like that okay so at least we have one we have number two let me increase the font size here to 30 we can accommodate that at least there we go so at least we have top 20 now we know number one number two and we have popular top 20 so popular is exactly like top 20 um, slight differences right so I'm gonna grab this copy let's go to popular page and everything after this is really not needed let's paste okay 
try so popular songs and just that on the top just like on the top 20 um, this one I'm gonna grab from the latest like that and do this because we can add pagination to the popular songs we don't need to limit to 20 okay now instead of order by ID descending we'll order by popularity wait what's the popularity small letter p there aha uh -huh. that should do it so back to popular and there it is so as you can see this song is more popular than this one but on the top 20 they are swapped all right so let's see the stats of lullaby here so it's got 10 views one download um, and popularity is quite high but it's only because it hasn't updated the popularity of this one i guess but still that's what it is okay so that's how it is so latest popular 20 top 20 and that does it now let's put some pagination down here so I go to the home page i just want some buttons so if i go to the upload place here i can grab the console button here so let's go to upload let me find the console button okay so there it is it's got an a tag around it which is perfect so i'm going to copy that let's go to latest uh, maybe i grab the entire div like so so copy that let me come back to the latest now it has to be the pagination has to be okay no we can we actually need to put it outside because even when we don't have a result we still need to see some pagination so button title uh, we change that to previous page uh, this one should change to next page but let's put let's put a tags around both like so okay and then this should just reflect the current page so the current page is latest.php only difference is here we do page is equal to and then we give a specific page so since we already know there's page number everywhere we can use that and say page number uh, minus one for example let me close that you can also put this inside a bracket so next page is page number plus one the other one is page number minus one okay so back to latest and we have this previous page we have next page it doesn't look like the um let me add a style and just say width 100 percent or let me put background color and say red i just want to see where the div is so it's actually everywhere which is nice so which means i don't need this width 100 percent what i need though is justify content between I don't know if this uses flexbox or not probably not so let me remove that it's useless what I can do is put a style here and say float left and see that okay that makes it 
So previous page, next page. So if I click next page, you see I have nothing. Previous page, I have something. Now you can prove that the pagination works if we just tell it to limit one page to one item. So if I refresh, you see there's one item here. If I click next page, there's the next item, but then there's nothing. Previous page, previous page, previous page. Page zero isn't a thing. Okay, very cool. So back to the 30 there, that's good. And let me get back to this part here. So now I can easily grab this, copy it and put it on every single page. Now top 20 doesn't need pagination because top 20 of course is just to limit to 20. But these guys, oops, how come I didn't copy this? Right, there we go. Okay, now we change the page name from latest to popularity, as otherwise popular, right? Otherwise it would take us to a whole different page. So popular, next page, nothing, previous page, there we are. Okay, so that fixes all these things. Um, what else am I up to here? We can have another page for artists instead of um, of just songs. So let's go to, let's see here. Uh, let's go to the header. Where is that? The header. And let's extend. So top 20, contact us, but after that, let me just duplicate this and say uh, something like artists. And artists.php. So artists, I'm just gonna grab from latest.php, copy everything and create a new page, paste, uh, change, these things like latest to artists and then let's go up here artists let me save it as artists.php so it's up to you how many artists you want at a time but here instead of this we say from users right select from users now in this case um Instead of songs, we can have users like that. We don't need this here to add users to the list. So I'm gonna remove this. And then we need to be very specific. We don't want to show admins. So we'll say where uh, row, which is the user row, is equal to user like that, okay? Order by and so on and so forth. And then, Artist profiles. Okay. All right. This looks great. Now we need to change things because here it's not, it's no longer song, it's artist. No, it's user. So I'm just going to change that to user and all references as well. Bum, 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 bum. to user like that, okay? So user doesn't have a title and stuff like that. It has first name and last name. So I'm gonna copy this. Where there's a title there, we remove that because that was for the song. So I'm gonna say paste like this. Now I'm gonna remove the artist part here because it's irrelevant, like so, okay. Uh, we won't need the unknown anymore because the record will always be there, so no need for that. Let's remove this. And then we don't need this section down here at all, so I'm gonna remove that as well. Uh, what else? 
If there are none, no artists found. Okay, let's check that out. So if I now refresh, we have artists here. And there we go, look at that. Now, if I click on one of these, it should take me to the to their profile. So I should change that to profile.php and then the user ID, which is great. So I'll refresh and then click here. You see, it takes me to that artist profile, same as this one. Okay, very, very cool. So everything now is working for the front end uh, as it should, but there's one thing missing. We need a search button there. So I want to be able to search for a song, um, for a particular song. So like if I search for last and then press enter, it should find me at least this one. So let's make a search page. It's not as hard as it sounds. Um, I'm going to use the latest page. I'll grab everything from here, right click, uh, new file, paste, save this one as search.php. All right, then. So let's change all references to latest. Let's change that to search instead for next page. I guess we don't really need next page and your search should be more specific. So that way we don't need to put from Mm. Yeah, this will just bring some complications, so which I don't like. So I'm gonna remove the pagination. Uh, so songs are okay here. Here I'm just gonna stay search results like that. Okay, and what else? Huh. So now the thing is, how we search here. Uh, we're just going to limit this to 30. We don't need the offset at all because we don't have pagination anyway. Uh, this one should change to search. Okay. This remains as it is. Now, the search part here is the important thing, important bit. We're going to have a variable called find, which will be in the, in the get, right? We're just going to call it Q because usually Q is short for query. And if there is nothing in there, uh, what do we do? If it doesn't exist, we let's put a no value like that. OK. And then we only do this if find is not empty. That way we can only find uh, we don't bother if the search field is empty. So let's do that. Let's do that. Then while we're in here, I want to change the contents of find into something like this. So find is equal to percent. And then we add find itself to it and then add a percent at least at the end as well, like that. Okay, so the reason we're doing this, we're telling it to search Whatever search text we put here, we don't care what's at the end and what's at the beginning because people will search for just the middle part of the title and it shouldn't care what's at the beginning and what at, what's at the end as long as there's some place in the title where it resembles whatever the user has typed, it should return that as a result. That's how the search works. So from songs here, and then we'll put a where clause since we want to be specific. So we're going to say where um, title because we are searching for some title and then we're not use, going to use the equal sign. We can say title is equal to find like this. Sorry. Uh, yeah, that's not going to fly. We have to use the word like like this instead of the equal sign. So that's how it should work. Now, in order to to put this inside the get queue, we need to submit a form with a get request. So we're going to do that in the header since the header is the one with the search thingy. And the search thingy is right here, right? So there's a search, there's a div. Now let's change this div instead to become a form. And then it should have a method of get instead of post. 
So the method is get like that. Okay, good. And then what we're going to do is the input should have a name of Q like that. And that's it really. Oh, actually, no, that's not it. The action, which means the page it should go to, should always be the search.php page, regardless on what page you are on. So if I now refresh and just click late last maybe because I'm looking for this particular song and press enter okay so now we have problems on 99 there's something weird going on in the search page so let's find that out so here it says ah right I don't know what that dollar sign is for let's remove that and if I refresh look at that results right let's try I want to search for lullaby so I'm just gonna put L U and there it is what if I just put L it'll find both songs because they do have L but the thing disappears here right what we searched for so if I go to the header and here I can put value here now I could put old uh, the old value but the problem is that one looks only looks for values in the post not in the get so what I'm gonna do is just do get like this and then say Q and then I'll put the convenient question marks and put two empty uh, quotes and then close that that way if it doesn't exist it just puts emptiness if it does it will put it back so if I refresh you see there's an L there if I search it remains okay so that's how the search results work very convenient so everything seems to be great here you could put the search uh, tab here if you want but I think it's enough if they can search here and come here then they can repeatedly search so the front end side is pretty much done there's the footer here you can simply put links to all these pages as you wish no big deal just like if I go let's go to the footer here where is the where is the footer Futari. Okay, so actually, all these are already set. I forgot I set these. So great, the footer is done as well. If I click settings, it actually does take me there. Okay, this is uh, awesomeness. So the only part remaining is for the admin uh, to deal with things. So here, what I want to do is real quick go to functions and create um, the, the way we have this is logged in function. We can also have one that says is admin function. So I'm going to do duplicate there and say is admin like that and returns a Boolean. So if not empty now, instead of just returning true here, we have to ask the question if right this user role is equal to admin that's when we return true okay so that way we know this one is an admin all right then now if the person is an admin it should show the admin tab at the top here so let's go back to our header and let me let me duplicate one of these for example the about section here Oops, what have I did? There we go. My mouse is a pain in the butt. Okay, so I'm gonna say admin.php like that and edit that to admin like so. So I'm gonna grab this and put it here. That uh, end if and put it there copy and put it so so we change that to the is admin function instead right so let's refresh so I'm not an admin that's why it's not showing there so what I want to do is let me just type the admin dot php directly in there and it doesn't seem to be aware that there should be an admin page hmm 
So there's admin.php in here inside admin. So I guess we have to do slash admin slash admin. And there it is. So slash admin slash admin dot PHP. So that's what I should do here. I should say admin slash admin dot PHP to take me to that page. Okay. So in here, um, we need to at least load the users and load the songs, just artists, which is the users and songs. That way we can change who can access this. Now, if you've noticed, I've just typed the URL and I'm in the admin section, but I'm not actually an admin. So we're gonna fix that real soon. So let me go to, let me do file, close all files, go to admin.php. So here, in the same way we, let's see, maybe the index.php. I want to grab all of this like so, put it in the admin section like that. Change that to admin and what else? I don't need any of this yet. Let's just do that for now. Let me look for a page where I need to be. Where's the upload page? Actually, the upload page should be restricted to only those that have uh, logged in, right? So, like the profile page, right? Let me co copy this. So where is the upload page? There it is. So let's just add this part like that if it's logged in. But in the same way, here we're gonna add if is admin. If not is admin, let's redirect them. So if I refresh, okay. So it needs that PHP is no longer there because we have to go uh, from where we are outside to find it. So I'm gonna do dash dash slash to move a folder above to find that file. Okay, so there admin.login. Hmm. Okay, this is not doing me any favors. So what I'm gonna do is, let me remove that. It's gonna be a pain to start moving things around. So what I'll do is, every reference to asset, assets here, I'm gonna grab that and select, and then change that to assets underscore admin, like that. Okay, then let me open this folder where we are in. I'm gonna rename this from assets to assets underscore admin, like that. Okay, then I can grab these two guys and remove them from this restrictive folder and paste. Let me delete these files. Okay, so there it is. So that should work. Uh, let me close these without saving. That too. Back to the header and change where I wrote slash admin here. Let me just remove that. I'm just trying to keep things simple. So Right, there we go. And then let me do admin.php and it takes me to the login page. Okay, great. Now the thing is, I can simply go to users in the database and then change my user row for the first user. Double click there and type admin like that. So that makes me an admin now. So if I do login, let's say password, now I should see the admin link, which is right there. Okay, very, very cool. So with this now, we are able to access the admin section. So this is the only part remaining. Everything else works except this part. Okay, so let's make a few things work here, like the dashboard, and then we can separate these things. So for example, the, uh, the logout page, the front end page, 
and um, the information here can get started to work. So let's go to the admin.php there. I'm going to create a new folder called includes. So new folder. I'm going to call it includes, which I will add the included files in the admin because I don't want it to be one page. I want when I click on one of those links, it takes me to a different page without having to reload the whole thing. So let me, it will reload the whole thing, but it will maintain the information here. So the name of the user, for example, here will be the name of the user that's currently logged in. So we're going to echo that using the user function and do first name like this. And then I'm simply going to duplicate this one time. Okay, let's try that last name like so. Okay. So if I come back here now and refresh, at least it shows me my actual name. Then I'll do the same thing here. Oh, this is a pain to do with my mouse. So here we'll use the get image, of course, and then user in there image, like so. Okay. And there it is. Okay, so that's the currently logged in user. The logout button should take us to the logout page. So where is this? Logout should be a link to log you out. So here we're going to say logout.php. Simple as that. And let's move on to the front end. Front end takes us to the index.php. Okay, that does it. So if I now refresh and click front end, I'm coming back here. If I click back and click log out, I've logged out. Then if I try now to go to the admin page, it doesn't work. Okay, so let me try and log in as Mary. Okay, and then now try to go to the admin section. So admin.php, it doesn't work. So a non-admin cannot go to an admin page, but this one as an admin can click on that and actually come here. Okay, so now the remaining things are the dashboard, artist and songs. So I want when I click on this, the content here is edited. I don't want to copy the entire page for every one of these links because if in case I want to change the text on one of the links, I would have to go to every single page that I copied in order to change that. So I don't want to do that. I want to be able to just change once on one page and then every page on the admin page has the updated menu. So in order to achieve that, then I'm going to just put separate files for the content only and leave the main thing here. So this is part where it says dashboard. Where is this? This is here. That's the page title there. Okay. So that's the page title. So in order to have that, I'm just going to do this uh, and say title and close that. Okay. So right at the top here, I'm going to say title is equal to dashboard. That way, oh, there's title there, admin, right? So we're going to call this one subtitle. Okay. There we go. Subtitle. So from our perspective, nothing has changed at all. Okay, good. Now the subtitle will change depending on the page that we need to load. So here, subtitle is that, and then I'm going to say page to load is going to be, uh, this one we're going to call it, what can we call it, dashboard, I guess, 
app.php, right? That's the page to load. And so inside the includes here, um, wait, dashboard.php. I think what I'll do is we'll grab the subtitle, okay? Let's do it that way. That way we don't have to retype this. So I'm gonna do string to lower subtitle so that whatever the subtitle is, we lower it. And then I'm gonna add a dot PHP at the end. So here it's gonna be dashboard dot PHP. But then this is gonna be in the includes folder. So I'm gonna say includes slash and then concatenate that. Okay, so page to load will be in here in the includes section. So um, what we'll do is if I go down here now uh, where it says dashboard, no, 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 right here where I added the subtitle. So, so this whole section here should be replaced. It's actually from here. That's where I want to replace things. Uh, wait, 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 what am I doing here? Users, blah, blah, blah. Okay, 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 I see what's happening. So just after the subtitle here, everything inside it, inside this div, should be replaced. So the div ends here. So I'm gonna grab everything here. Uh, where I have the subtitle thingy. Okay, up to there. So I'm gonna copy that for a second, copy. I'm gonna to go to the includes, right click, new file and paste it here, select it. Just shift tab so that we get to the bottom line here. I'm gonna save this baby as dashboard.php and save. So back in the admin area here, I will delete all of its content. So I would do, where is this? Not the thing itself, just the inside here, the inside content. Let's see where it says subtitle. Again, uh, missing it up to there. So subtitle will remain. So it remains like this. And then here is where we load the page we want. So here I'm gonna say begin page content. Okay. And then here I'm gonna change that to end page content. So here what I'll do is try to load the, uh, so I'll put some PHP tags so we can try to include the subtitle file, the page to load. So if we're gonna say if, uh, let's ask a file exists, right? If file exists, page to load like that. Uh -huh. And if it does not exist, all we have to do is echo page not found. So you can put whatever custom message you want here, but otherwise if it exists, we're gonna require it, right? So you require page to load, like so. All right, pretty straightforward. So I'm gonna refresh. Oh, we have two dashboards here. Okay, now the reason is in the dashboard.php, I still got the div itself, the main div. So remove the bottom closing div part and this top part with the subtitle. Like that, select all, shift tab to bring them back to the wall. So if I refresh, there we go. Now it's doing better. So here, um, what will change the, um, At the end here, let's see, admin.php, uh, the page to load, the subtitle and page to load. 
So here, we want to get it from the get variable first. So this one is gonna be, um, I'm gonna go call it section. Section is equal to, and then do that like so, okay? Hmm. So I'll make it small later here. I think this is going to work out just fine. But anyway, even here, this is fine. So subtitle is going to be... Okay, so may, maybe instead of subtitle, let's change that to section, right? I think it makes more sense. So I've changed all references to the word section. So section is equal to get section. And then if it does not exist, we say dashboard. That's the default value. Okay. Now I'm going to go to here where I added section like this and say you see words. That way it capitalizes the first letter. Okay. So now let's go to the links. Uh, so here, for example, uh, the dashboard link just has to link to the admin.php while the others have to link to admin.php but question mark section is equal to and then we add a section like artists okay or maybe we can call it users i don't know uh, maybe let's call it users even here I say users okay and then this one will lead to admin.php section is equal to songs and yep the rest should be as they are so now if I refresh the page and click users you see it says users but says page not found right then here I say songs, same thing, right? Very cool. Uh -huh. So the dashboard works because that page is there, but the others are not. Now, the weird thing is that if I type the word here, for example, I dash slash includes, right? Let's do this includes then slash dashboard dot php i can load that page but look how it loads because it's just a section of the page so we don't want this to happen so what i'm gonna do is here i'm gonna i'm gonna define um a constant and i'm just gonna call it admin you can call the constant anything it doesn't matter here I'm just going to call it true as a value, like so. So I've defined an admin constant. Then if I go to dashboard here, at the very top I'll put some PHP tags and then ask the question, is admin defined? So if defined admin or die like this, all right, let me close those tags here. And then with a message, access denied. So you can write anything you want here. So in this case, if I refresh, it will just say access denied like that. So what's happening is that um, only when we load it through the admin page, will it have this constant. If we just load it directly, that constant will not exist, and so it will just die. But now let me try to load it through the admin section, and it loads just fine. Okay, so that's another security feature there. Now we can separate these into smaller sections. So I want the users, so new file, I'll save this as users.php. And I also want the songs.php.
Okay, this way at least we don't have page not found anymore. Users, right? Songs, users. You see it changing there. Very cool. So let's go to the users part. The dashboard, the admin dashboard is just this first section here. And then the rest is users, a table for users. So I'm going to cut everything from there, go to users and paste it. Then do not forget the security code at the top, which is this one. Copy that. Let's go to the top. And let me put this in there. Paste. Great. Now I'm going to select everything. Go to songs, paste, and change that to songs. Okay. Cool. So now if I click on users, this is what I see. Click on songs, that's what I see. I don't know why this is repeated. Oh, because the title is not needed really. Uh, if I go to this one, the title comes automatic. So we remove that. So songs, users, songs, users. Great, this is uh, doing the most. Then finally dashboard users songs very cool now on the dashboard here we just want information how many admins are there how many artists how many songs and how many plays so we can easily do those things so let's come to the dashboard here and right about there i need some php tags but what i'll do is this use the existing ones Okay, so first of all, let me run some queries. I'm going to do query select or from users where row is equal to user. All right. Now I want to count these. I don't want to really select the rows themselves. So I'm going to say select count and put the stein there as total like this okay this is the alias for the folder that will be the the column name sorry so it's going to count all users that have a row of user which is these are the artists okay so i'm going to just call them users uh, we're going to say total users mm, actually just say users is equal to query and let's run that query in there and then we'll say if users right and uh, this will never be empty actually so um, what to do here i can say users total users is equal to users zero which is the first result and then in there it's going to be a column called total like that okay so that's for total users let me grab this and duplicate so that's admins uh, then we're going to go for songs and then we're going to go for plays which what's the other one there are four anyway you can put downloads whatever same principle right no difference at all so from users we're gonna go to admins here what i'm gonna do is change this from user to admin like that okay so here they have to be admin the row is admin those are admins total users and then here total songs so i'm going to start from there to change okay here on songs we don't have any row we just want total songs so select all from songs that's it to select everything and then and down here select count uh plays let's look at how many plays um we have so from here we'll do this from songs right 
Now, what we really want to count is the um, uh, we want the sum of a specific column. So the sum of views. So here we're gonna say sum as total from songs like that. Mm -hmm. Aggregate figure. Okay, I hope that actually works. Um, okay, total views. Okay, so let me just add those babies here. So I'm going to remove the break tag. Let me find all break tags, remove them. Uh, this one will have total uh, admins. All right. This one will have total users, right? Auto users like that. And then we're going to have total uh, artists. Wait, wait, wait. Total songs. Total songs. There we go. And then finally, this one, I don't know if it's going to work. We're going to have total plays. Total, we're gonna go total views. Plays and views are regarded as one. Okay, so there we have total 16 plays. Let's confirm if that's actually true. So, views is 10 plus 6, that's 16. Great. So, one artist, uh, one admin, one artist, two songs, 16 plays. Simple as that. Okay, so we have all that done. Now, if we go to users, in this case, we have to list the users and then list the songs. So not difficult either. Let's do the users thingy. So I'm gonna go to copy what I have done here. I will copy this, come to users section and just replace with that. So, which one are we getting users from? So we're getting users from here. Oops, my mouse is terrible. So it's only users we want. So I'm gonna, oh my God, this, this selector is insanely inaccurate. So instead of counting, I just want the columns as they are. Select all, we remove the alias from users, where we just don't want users, even admins. So there's no need for a where clause. We're just gonna say order by ID descending, limit, uh, limit, and then offset, offset. That way we can add pagination. So the same way we did in the latest part here, uh, I'm gonna grab this part here. Ba -ba -boom. Ooh, this is insanely weird how my button, mouse button doesn't work. So let's go to users. Mm, what was I trying to do? At the top here, paste like so. Okay, so at least limit 30 and a specific offset okay so that's good now users we don't need this we just need the users themselves like so all right looking good so far and now let me uh, squeeze things a little bit here these things are too spaced apart gives me a headache to scroll down here 
Okay, so looking good. Now, the body of the table here is what we want to concentrate on because I want to look through each row here. So I'm just going to say if uh, not empty rows, is it? Or is it users? It's users. Right? Then let's duplicate that and do a for each to loop through the users table as user like so okay uh -huh. now let me go down this way squeeze these babies down here so after the first row let's put end for each duplicate that and let's do another end if for the if statement okay so now i'm gonna grab why this does not work why this does not work okay i'm gonna use the the keyboard There we go. There we go. Okay, very cool. So let me try refresh. And there we go. This is what I get. The result looks like it did work. But let's remove the row that's down here. This repeated row that we do not need just there to to make it look better there are only two users and there we go uh, very nice so now let's fill up the space for the information so first name last name age uh, are these the most important columns we don't actually have age we have what do we have bro we have username, we have email, we have image and row. So let's figure this out here. So first name. Let me duplicate this though. Right. This one I'll change to username. Age I'm going to change to row. And I think that will do the trick. Right. Okay. So I uh, will duplicate the first one. And say user. Username. And close that. But we need to escape this. Very important. Do not forget. You got to escape. Copy that part and put in here first name, put in there last name, and then here instead of age, we have uh, row. We don't need to escape this because it's a known value, but why not? Here we put our email. Oh boy. <sighs> Very frustrating to click there. Email. Okay. Then for the image, of course, we want to have we'll do the what do we do get image close that and then here this is going to be uh, user image like this all right so let me refresh and there it goes right so 
very cool we don't have an id here let me make sure the ids are correct as well okay so the ids are there very nice very cool interesting now on the edit and delete we have to be able to edit and delete now since we already have uh, the edit and delete i think for the user we don't have a delete so i want this to just take me to the edit section of the profile uh, of that user so but before that let's deal with pagination shall we that way once i copy it it's the same thing I'm doing on the uh, on the songs section. Okay. So I want a link here. This will link to the admin.php page with a section called users and page is equal to uh, page number minus one. Simple as that. Let me put a closing bracket and opening bracket. Oops. There, like so. All right. Let me remove the closing tag and add it here. And then I can move everything over. Copy that. Why does it scroll so far? This is... This hurts. Oh my god. Okay, there we go. Paste, yes. Navigation has become a pain for me because my mouse does not want to cooperate. So the difference here is that I'll put a plus and that's it. Really? Okay. So looking great. Now the edit and delete will be the interesting ones. So let me do this. Let's go here. Oops. Close that over. And do the same thing here again. And we close this. All right, so we just need a link to the specific uh, thing that we want here. So in my case, to edit users, this has to go to the settings page. Hmm. So we'll have to change the settings thing, how it looks like. All right. Okay, we're going to fix that. No problem. So settings.php. And here we just need an ID. So there we'll say ID is equal to. And then we're going to give the ID of the specific user. So here it's going to be user uh, ID, like so. All right, let's remove the brackets, like so. Okay, that should do, actually. Uh -huh. We should also have a, on the settings, a delete page to delete um, to delete a profile so it's going to be settings with php id is equal to that then we put and delete is equal to true or something okay we'll fix that all right i think this works let's refresh all right so the refreshed page let's try edit ah there we go 
let's try so no matter what i do here it just takes me to my own profile to edit so that's okay we're gonna fix that um let's see next page works previous page works everything works now very good all right awesomeness um so in the same way we can load we're gonna finish the edit and delete here but let me go to songs here and let's deal with that so i'm gonna copy everything from users because it's pretty similar go to songs select everything and paste and then let's come back here right click songs okay now we just need to query something else instead so here we're going to just change that to songs and that's it users all this will change to song okay not everything was changed correctly but that's fine for now we can go through it select from songs and then the thing is with songs we have things like title and what else do we have so let's go to the songs table so we have a title. Um, hmm. We have a title, we have views, downloads, popularity, and date. Those are the most important. An image, of course. Not the fire itself. Uh, maybe the user ID is important, but let's try this. Let's try if title, views. Downloads, popularity, and then date. The image can remain there. What else remains? Title. Uh, we can have artist here actually. Okay, cool. So let's go down here with this in mind. Uh, title. Artist, for now I'm just gonna say user ID because that's what's available in that column. And then I'm gonna say views. We don't need the escape for all these, but that's fine. Downloads. And here, popularity. The image stays as it is. What else did I add? Views, downloads, popularity. What have I missed? Title, artist, views, downloads, popularity, date. Okay. So here I'm going to use the date function actually. So. Because I want to, I want to give it a different format. So small letter J, capital S, space, um, capital M, and then capital Y. Okay, and then here I'm gonna put a function called string to time to change that into seconds because that's what the date function requires, and that should work out indeed. Okay, so there it is. So title, artist, views, downloads, popularity, date, image, and then action finally. Now, when it comes to action here, I want to, this should go to upload.php, okay? So there's the ID there, which is quite fine. But then we will need to have mode which is equal to delete like that i think that's how it is there and mode is equal to edit so let's try that and see so if i click on edit for this one there it is last forever edit if i click on delete are you sure you want to delete that works out 
But if I try and edit this one, it's just saying that song won't, not, not found. So uh, admins should be allowed to edit and delete uh, at their leisure. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to uploads.php right there. And let's see the part where we say user ID is equal to user ID, right? That is the limiting factor. So what we can do is have a different query if the user is an admin. So we're going to say if is admin, right? Like so then we run a very different query. So copy that and paste that like so. In this query, we ignore the fact that there's a user ID somewhere. So in that vein, it will work out like this. Okay, so back, delete, there we go. So the admin can delete any song by going here or by just clicking the delete button. So this is working, everything is working here, songs, uh, pagination will work. Um, yep, pagination will work as well. Let's see here if the pagination is correct. Correct al mundo. Where is this? Da, 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 da. Okay, section songs. That's cor correct. So that's working out. Yep, that is working out. Very good. The only problem is we don't have the artist uh, name here, right? Also, if I want to play the song, uh, there's a title here. So we can just put a link on the title to the actual song. So right here where there's title, I want to put an A tag. Here it goes to song.php, question mark, ID is equal to. And then we put the specific ID, which is song ID like that. All right. Then we can close the A tag over here and push everything inward. So as a result, now I can click on that to come to this. Just if I want to see how the song looks like. Okay awesomeness uh popularity oh now the artist name right let's fix that to fix that is easy because we already have that we have this in the where do we have this ba, 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 ba. In somewhere uh actually even here latest right yeah there's this part right here which we just want. So I'm going to grab all this, copy, take this to songs. And put it right here, just like that. And that's it. So if songs, then we loop through the songs and then we add a user. The user will be inside the artist section, the artist array. So we just need to access that from there. So instead of a user ID here, I'm going to put artist and then do first name like that but it's possible this may not be found so two question marks unknown like that and then duplicate this because we want to uh, use the last name as well oops and then i can put emptiness here on the second one right so that's the artist now we also may need to see the artist profile if we want to so i'm going to copy this and just put it there like so close the a tag push in like that now instead of song this is going to be profile.php then instead of song here it's going to be yeah it will be song but we'll need r artist there like so and get the id of the artist so if i refresh now jones should me take me should take me to specific profile okay awesomeness all around so that does it and 
The only uh, difference is we can't edit the user for now. So let's fix that real quick. So if I want to edit this user, that's not me. I'm going to click edit, right? There's an ID in the settings here. Now this should only work if the logged in user is the admin. So only admins can see settings of other uh, artists. So let's go to the settings.php page. So the thing that determines what is loaded is the ID, right? Okay, so originally you should grab this, but we'll put an if statement and say if is admin as usual, then we can do some more interesting things. Then we edit where the source of the ID comes from. In this case, we're gonna prioritize the get variable. We'll say get ID and then do that. If that does not exist, we put in the owner ID. And then we just make sure since we are grabbing something from the get, which is the URL, we just want to make sure it's legit. Let's cast it as an integer, first of all, uh, like that. I think that's, that's enough. Yep, I think that works. Now, even when saving here, um, row should be not empty. So I'm going to say and not empty row like this. So we don't end up saving to a non-existing or the wrong thing. So there we go. And it worked as intended. So here I can edit that. I can also edit this. Okay. Now the delete uh, will not work yet because we don't have that actually. So artist settings, uh, maybe we want to create a delete function to delete the um, artists when we need to delete the artist profile. Now, I think I should be leaving some homework to you guys because I'm doing too much. Doing everything is like baby or spoon feeding. So I want to give you some homework for once. So what you can do is create the delete part of the artist, right? Just like we have the delete for songs, you can improvise and try to make your own version. Uh, but just remember that once you delete an artist, you should also not forget to delete uh, all the songs that belong to that artist. Uh, the images, just like we, de we do with songs. With songs, we just delete the songs. But once you delete the artist, you have to go through all songs that have the same user ID as the artist you've deleted and then delete those as well and then delete their files as well to add to that. So there we go. Let me just add one more song here, upload and let me click browse for the images. The images don't really matter. Uh, where is this? Da, da, da. Oh boy. Let me just do that. Let me browse for a song. Uh, I don't know what songs to get here. Uh, And this one could in the rain. And let's save. Wait, what just happened? What happened? Oh, it didn't save, right? Document expired. Really? In the rain. It's like there was an error, but I didn't, I don't know what error that is. So browse again, let's try one more time. Let me browse this image. Maybe the image was the wrong uh, file type. I don't know. Uh, let me try this one. Let's hit save. Okay. Hmm, interesting. It seems something is actually wrong this time. 
can't upload anymore. Let me go to the songs table. Let's see if anything is... No, nothing is being added, so that's strange. Let's go back to the upload section here. Ah, I think this is the part right here, which is causing problems. Yay, yay. Hmm. Yeah, the reason this is a problem is because this assumes we are on the edit mode because song is only filled in when we're in edit mode. So this was a big mistake on my part. So remove that. Never mind. That's what's causing the problems. So whenever you have a, an issue like this, uh, you have to go through your code logically and see what seems to be the problem. If this is true, then that is true, then this is true, until you try to find the solution. And there we go. So things are working out as intended now. We have um, that. Now I can search uh, latest, popular, top 20, right? Artists, there we go. So the one that's an admin isn't considered an artist. So that's why there's only one user there. And then the admin section, there are three songs now. Uh, still one artist, one admin, 17 plays. Okay, that does it. So the only remaining thing really is, oh, the download button, right? You know, I almost forgot that. So we can add a download button very easily. Uh, let's go to, where is this? Upload, I just want that button there. Or maybe in settings, is it? No, 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 in profile.php, where is? Th okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So we added download button, right? So I'm gonna grab this part here. Copy and let's go to the song.php. And right at the end, let's put that button there. Right after these guys here. Let's paste. This is going to be download, right? Like so. And this is going to go to download.php and then ID is equal to, and then here we will need to put an ID of the song. So that's song ID like that. Okay, great. So refresh. Oops, syntax error means we typed something wrongly. There's a missing bracket. Save that. And there we go. So download. Great. All right, so now let's add the PHP required to download that song. All right, so when we click on this, we should go to the download.php page, and then the ID of the song should be this one. So let's create a download.php page. So I'm going to say new file, save this as download.php. Very good, right? But we need to load every other thing that we load in the other stuff as well. So I'm going to require this. I don't require, I don't need the page title or to check whether the user, I do need to grab the um, uh, let me copy things from here. Okay. So back to download, paste. I don't need the title. I don't need the user to be logged in. Anyone can download. And the ID though, should be grabbed from the get variable. You don't need to be an admin. Uh, 
here. Yep, the ID must be an int, I guess. So we'll do get from the get. If that's not existing, we just put a zero. So ID will be zero. This way we know we always have an ID of some kind. Okay. So now what I want to do is read using that ID. And we already do that on the song.php, right? Because we do grab the ID and then we read from there. So I just want the file, um, the file link itself. So I'm going to copy that from song.php and paste here like so. All right. So selector from songs where the song, the ID is equal to ID here, it's called ID. So we keep it like that. We'll keep it 100. And then, um, wait, what's happening? Okay, there it is. So don't put a closing PHP tag here at all. Now, if not empty song, which means we have found this song, the file is going to be equal to uh, the song variable, of course, but the first result and then in the file like that. Okay. So if file exists, we don't want to start downloading a file that does not exist, right? So if file exists, file like that, uh, then we do something, right? So if not empty, but then if it's empty, uh, we can echo out something and just say echo could not find that song or something, right? Here as well, we can do an else statement and do an echo and say uh, that file does not exist. So you can put your own custom messages and stuff. But if it does exist, we're just going to say read file like that. OK, and then just file like this. And that's it. Read file. OK, so let's give it a shot and see what happens when we click. So I'm going to refresh and let's click here. And this is what happens. OK, so it doesn't really download. It just uh, takes you to this page. But here the user could con say control S to actually save the song like that. So this is one way to do the download thing. OK, but instead we could change the headers, for example. So let's say header, uh, for example, we can write content type like this and put a full column there and then we put the content type. So here I'm going to uh, there's a you have to put the mime type. There's a mime content type um, and then put your file name there like that. So this will extract the mime content type, which is some, something like image slash JPEG or audio slash MPEG, something like that. So once we know this, that's good. We're changing the headers so that uh, the, the browser knows what to do with our information. So let's see if doing that changes anything at all. Nope, it did not. OK, but that's fine. Let's duplicate this. Let's try and change another property called content description. Now, you can go on the um, online and change check all types of header uh, headers that you can add to a browser to tell it what to do. So in this case, um, content description, I want it to be uh, file transfer. Uh, I don't know. You know, the thing is, you don't need to to memorize these things at all. Um, you can just Google and say how to download or downloading headers or something headers for download. OK, so that didn't work either. OK, but do not to worry. I have uh, some headers that I use for my other projects. So we're going to do that now. OK, so I think I missed. I should have just 
put a space here. So that's a file that I copied some headers that because I created them once, I rarely re repeat the typing of them. So I don't really have memory of how they are. So right now I'm just trying to see if I can manage to guess. So let's try again. Okay, so that didn't work either. So I guess that's not the best. Um, so we've done these two, content description and content type. So let me see, I think th this is the one that works really. Header content transfer type encoding binary. I think this is the one, but let's see, right? Let's see. Nah, didn't do it. Okay. Um, let's see here. Hmm, which one of these? Because there's so many of these, I often wonder which one actually does the work. So I think this one here. Ah, yes, it says attachment there. So I think this is the one. Content disposition, right? Mm hmm. Okay, so this looks like the main header that you need to add. So let's try this. So for now, I'm gonna mute all these babies here. These are just icing on the cake. There should be one header type. This one right here looks important. So the file name isn't in any row. So I'll just do that. And yep, that's pretty much it. Let's see if that works. Ah, looky there. And it downloaded the file. Very cool. So that's the 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 header that you have to add and then you say read file here. The others are just icing on the cake just to keep things 100 uh, content mime type and the rest. Then there are sometimes you, you may have errors. Uh, maybe the file is downloading halfway. Um, this is my attempt at fixing that using ob flash and ob clean. OB means output buffer. So what happens is when the um, when the PHP page is loading, like on your server, there is a buffer. That's just a temporal memory space where the page is saved before it's sent to your browser. Now, if you clean the OB, the output buffer, that's just removes whatever was there. And then flash, what flash means is that whatever uh, content is put in the buffer should be sent to the browser immediately. So you can flash the content before the page is finished loading if you want. So that's what I was trying to do here. Um, I don't know if this exit is even important, but I had it, so why not? Okay, I think that's that pretty much does it. The rest of these, I don't know, expires zero. Um, you can add them. Let's just add them there for the kicks of it. Let's do this. Um, oops, what's going on with my mouse here? That's insane. Okay. I don't even know these cache control. Content length. Sometimes it's important to know the content length because maybe it may uh, stop halfway because it doesn't know the content length or maybe it can give you the percentages because it doesn't know the content length of when it is um, downloading. Okay, so yeah, I think this is good enough for me. All right, cool. So that's your download page right there. So refresh, click download. And there it is. Download it. Very cool. Let's try another song. See if it can download that one too. And click download. There it is. Awesomeness. Okay, so everything in here now is working as intended. Right? So let's do a little test before we go out. So I'm going to log out. And I want to sign up. Like here. So here I'm going to sign up as um, John. Let 
John the Killer. Maybe that's your stage name or something. And your real name is John Baptiste. Let's do john at email.com and let's put a password there. Great. Now, during validation here, uh, that's one thing I forgot actually. If we go to the sign up page right about here, when validating the email, uh, we should also check to see if the email um, does not exist, right? So let's do else, and I'm going to put an if statement here, like so. Okay. In here, I want to put a query to check to see. Um, let's see here. I'm going to run a query and I'm going to put query in there. Mm -hmm. And then if that works out, this means uh, the email already exists. So email should only be, uh, you should be unique. Say that email already exists. Okay, good. So I want to check if that's going to actually work here. If I do email at email.com, I don't want two people having the same email. So query, query. So exactly what query are we going to run here? Let's create the query and say select all. You can just say select ID. You don't need all the columns from users because you just want to see if there, there's going to be a record or not. Uh, where email is equal to uh, the email in there, like so, and say and limit one. Okay, so if that returns a result, then that email already exists. So let's see how that works. If I click sign up, it says that email already exists, which is cool. Username can only have letters without spaces. Now, actually, the username should have spaces, right? Because these are stage names and so on. So let's remove. Uh, first name, at least with first name, yes. But when it comes to the username, why can't this scroll like a normal mouse? Oh my God. Okay, so there is username. So with username, all I need to do is put a space there like so, and that should allow spaces. So it's, uh, oh, that's for the first name, right? I want for the username. There it is. Can only have letters. Yeah. Letters and spaces. So let's try that again. Okay, so the email already exists. That's great. But let's use John this time. And let's hit sign up. Your profile is created. Please log in. Thank you very much. I do not mind. Okay, there we go. John password. And there we go. So look at that. I have a um, Oh, I forgot to add these. Look at that. So we already know how this is done, I guess. But let me click to edit the profile. I'm going to click browse here and go to my desktop where there are some images. Let's see here. Yeah, Ed Sheeran right there. And let me hit save. Okay. Why it did not save? This is uh, not good. Uh, browse. Let me add a different image. Okay, that's uh, weird. Okay, I think that's the same problem I did last time. So let me go to settings.php where I forced it to check if raw is not empty. Let's see here. Selected from user ID or ID. What's going on here? Anyway, let me remove this and see if things are working. 
gonna work. So browse. Where is Ed Sheeran again? There you go. Yeah, clearly that isn't the problem. So I have no idea what's going on here. What did I change, ladies and gentlemen? And by the way, oh wait, 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 wait. Okay, I just want to confirm if the text can change. Uh, let me put an E at the end there. So that I know if it's just, okay, so that works. No, that doesn't work at all. So it's not saving anything at all. So what I'm gonna do is try to figure out what's going on. So first of all, I'm gonna try to see if it works being here. So I'm gonna say echo here and then die like that. So that I know if it gets to that point, then I know we are good. I will just select any image here. Um, and let's hit save. So it gets there, that's great. So let's keep going and see where it doesn't get. So if it gets here, then it gets everywhere else, but here, so I'm gonna do that. But then here I'm gonna say print R, I want to see what's inside errors and then tell it to die right there. So refresh, resend. Okay, so there's a problem there. Username can only have letters without spaces. But the question is why isn't the error showing down here? Ah, so that's one thing I forgot as well. Errors do not show down here. <laughs> Oh, my bad. You know, you forget very late to small, small things. Uh, let's go here and grab this part. That's what we need. Let's go to the settings.php. I'll remove this break tag and right above the form, I can add this after the, maybe inside the form, paste like so. Right, there we go, uh -huh. one more time and move this like this. Okay, so now if I come up here and remove this part, it's just that errors do not show. Resend. Okay, there we go. Username can only have letters with white spaces. So I could change this to, I'm being a bit pedantic, but text align center. Let's do that again. And there we go. Okie dokie. Okay, so that's not true. Let's update this part here because we want username to have spaces. So let's do that. Okay, letters with spaces. All right, so now it's gonna work. Very good. Let's put Ed Sheeran. There we go, and hit save. Very good, now we can upload a song. Mm -hmm. Here we have zero songs, right? Zero plays and zero downloads, but this doesn't show so let's change that a little bit in the profile.php page as well. So here, there's total songs, right? So let me grab that and I'm gonna have another one called total views, right? And then I'm gonna have another one called total downloads. like this, right? So let's see here. Um, total songs is right about that. So I just want to repeat this button right here. So I'm gonna grab this, doop, doop, like twice. So select count as total. 
Now here instead of count we're going to use the sum of a specific column which is uh, views, right? As total from songs where user ID is equal to user ID. So that's going to work just fine. Same thing here. We want to sum up the downloads for uh, column instead. Okay, where blah, blah, blah. That's great. So instead of song, this is going to be view. And here instead of song, this is going to be download. Yep, there we go. So now we can have some accurate. Oh, look at that. Hmm. Uh -huh. Why does it have why does it have nothing? It should have at least a zero or something. Uh, it's a query. Select sum as total from songs where user ID. Oh, because there's there's literally none of these where user ID is. Hmm. It shouldn't be empty. It should have a zero at least. What's going on here? From songs to the songs. What am I missing? Uh, to the views is equal to the count. Okay, maybe some works different with count. Okay. Eh, no matter. This is fine. Let's try some other artist. Let's try this artist, right? Yep, it shows very well. Live and plays, one download. Okay, so things are working as intended. We can upload a song for our new user. Uh, some song, and if we click save, we get some errors, and then we can add some images, and then browse for some music. Uh -huh. Let's see here, do I have music? Do I have music? There it is. Bo -bo -bo -bo. And let's save. Okay, there we go. So now if I go to my, so there's zero plays, zero downloads. So if I were to go on the home page, um, there it is, right? Now it has one play. If I go back to my profile, it should have one play, you know? Oh, because it's my own song, so it doesn't show up there actually. Now, if you want this, no, actually, this is fine. It is all good. Okay, so I hope you have learned something from this tutorial. Let me try to search, and the search works just fine. Look at that. Okay, so everything works here except for the uh, profile delete or artist delete, which you can create on your own just to test your skills of what you've learned so far contact us page does not exist so you can create any html page same as the about us page you can just create any page uh, design it with html css until it gets to your liking then you can put it as contact.php or about.php all right, so hopefully you've learned something awesome in this tutorial and I will see you in the next one.